Hey guys, this is Richard from Spirits of Japan. How you guys doing today? <clears throat> We're on our 13th Emperor. And uh, I guess our third bottle of sake. This is from uh, Kyoto. Kyoto has some very fine sake. 20-something um, uh, breweries up there. Uh, we go up there all the time. Great water. Um, I drink what's called Karakuchi sake. Karakuchi is uh, dry to the mouth. Really nice, easy, easy drinking. Even if you've had sake in your in your country before, uh, it may not have traveled well. It may have been on a container. They got heated up and calmed down, and heated up and calmed down. Ended up changing the uh, the um, the uh, makeup of the sake, and by the time it gets to you, it's just uh, just not as good as it should be. Uh, so we're gonna have a little sake today. I'm using a cool little cup I picked up in uh, Mano Ya Hashidate. Northern uh, port of Kyoto, uh, beautiful area. Um, they got boat houses up there. Uh, there's um, a big uh, history, uh, a lot of history. Uh, and I'm not going to get into it because uh, that'll take up to eight minutes. Now, we're on our 13th emperor, Emperor Seimu. Uh, he is the son of Emperor Keiko. And Emperor Seimu, um, uh, unlike his father, Emperor Keiko, who had like multiple, multiple consorts, a couple of wives, uh, well, 12 kids by one wife, and he had uh, 51 known kids in total, possibly up to 80 kids. Well, Samu was, uh, was a little bit different. This guy became emperor at 47, died at 106 or 107, depending on what you talk to. Um, so between 131 AD and 191 AD, he had only... Two um, two lovers in his life, evidently. First one was his wife. Uh, his wife was um, a young lady named Oho Takara, which evidently had some good god bloodlines, evidently. They had a child named Wakanuke. And Wakanuke, <coughs> I guess, uh, died when he was young. Um, he also had a consort, just one consort, which... Um, being an emperor, man, you've got access to a lot of opportunity to have whatever consort you want. But for some reason, this guy, as two of his uh, ancestors have done uh, so far, is he picked his niece from, I mean, from his sister, not a half-sister's niece, um... You know, not one of the consorts that his mom's, um, one of the other boys, it was Wakayama Tonoke, Toneko, and his daughter became Empress Seimu's, um, lover, uh, Kibino Hiratsume. She and him had no children together, so they were just, just lovers. Um, Empress Seimu, I guess, um, pretty distraught by... Wakanuke, the son, is in a position where I guess somewhere, and it doesn't say he couldn't have any more kids. So he didn't have any more kids, uh, couldn't have any more kids with his wife, uh, um, had access to consorts. And for one reason led to the other, he um, had his uh, half-brother, who was uh, whose mother was the first wife of his dad, because he was born from the second wife. And uh, uh, it was a, a man named Yamato Takeru. Uh, they called him Prince Osu, but they, there was he. He also had another brother named Prince Osu, so it was kind of a little difficult. Um, the older brother was the one that had all the anger issues, and they sent him up to Izumo to quell some rioting or some issues that were going on. And they sent uh, this Prince Osu off to Eastern Japan, where he, uh, I don't know, he marries one woman, and he, and he. Um, is on the ship and there's some major waves going on and they've they've either angered Susano, who's the god of storms in the ocean, or uh, the god um, of water, what whatever the case may be. Uh, his first wife jumps over the side of the ship to quell the storm, and it did. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So he remarries to a girl named Futaji Irihime, is his second wife which was the daughter of uh, one of the lovers of Emperor uh, Suinin, which was the 11th Emperor of Japan. So, um, wow, 
some age difference there. And they ha evidently have the next child, Chu Ai. Um, so Emperor Semu, since he couldn't have any more kids, and he had one child already died, gave the crown prince, crowned the next prince, his half-brother's son. So his nephew. So this would make the first time that there's a break in that lineage of um, son to dad, son to dad kind of thing. So it was his half-brother's son that he named. Uh, Chuai uh, would be the next, the 14th emperor, uh, emperor of Japan in 192 AD. Uh, we're going to talk about him in the next segment. Um, but yeah, I guess the only other thing that uh, this guy is really known for is uh, taking a lot of the princes and and moving them out across Japan and establishing more of a, a you know, um, I don't know, what would you call that? I forget what the, what the, I had it written down somewhere. It's called the, uh, the, the, to extend the prestige of the court. And so to get that court out there, uh, get more rules laid down, get more of a handle on what was going on, uh, things like that. So, um, wow. Um, this guy ruled from 131 to 191 for, for you know, uh, that's 60 years and only attempts to have, and we don't know. And I mean, it wasn't really written down. If it was, those records are lost. But uh, yeah, it kind of kind of sucks uh, that he didn't have any more kids, and it, it, I I mean that may tell you a lot about his personality too. So there you go. Um, this one's a short one, uh, under eight minutes. Uh, Emperor Seimu, the thirteenth uh, emperor of Japan. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the fourteenth, and I'll probably have time to uh, do one or two more today. So uh, thank you, and talk soon.